So it's going to be one of those days uh, where it never uh, stops raining. So it will be perfect for having a look inside this uh, Sturmy Archer tree speed hub. Apparently it has some uh, play on the cones. Um, next I should take off this uh, C-clip or whatever clip this is. And that got launched, just like that uh, coaster brake hub the other day. Well, it looks like I'm going to get dirty hands today. Should come off. Oh wait, it's a washer. And this will be uh, the second time that I open up one of these, so... Uh, I'm not that experienced, but... And... Well, the last time was at least four or five years ago. And... That was on my uncle's old gazelle bicycle, and uh, that is still missing the uh, second gear. So I probably screwed that up. Although when I started it uh, didn't have any gears. Now the bicycle from uh, which this hub came had a broken shifter, so... It, uh, the hub was stuck in second gear for probably many years, but after a while uh, the uh, shifting cable broke and the hub shifted to uh, third gear, so I kind of know that it is good. But before I uh, uh, mount this, by this wheel in, in my uh, uncle's old gazelle bicycle, I want to have a look inside. Nylon washer. Spring. And the driver. And some ball bearings that probably need uh, fresh grease. Can I now lift off the wheel? Not yet. I think... This needs to come off. Somehow. I remember uh, having to use a drift and uh, hammer this piece uh, loose before I could take out the uh, inner parts. Hmm. I think I better go watch a uh, YouTube uh, video before I continue. Well, I didn't watch any uh, YouTube videos, but I'm reasonably sure that uh, this piece here needs to come off. And I expect it is a normal right hand thread. The insides of the hub are actually uh, oilier or greasier than I uh, expected. Considering that this uh, hub wasn't uh, used for many years. Although I did uh, put some lube on this uh, lubrication point here. So that uh, probably helped. Um, this hub is from 1980, second month. And it's exactly 10 years newer than um, the hop in my uncle's old gazelle bicycle. And 
that hub doesn't have the uh, lubrication point. All right, it's time to start hammering. And let's see. There's a, a notch. And I'm leaning against the uh, wheel with my uh, chest. Hopefully that will uh, keep things in place. It's kind of awkward to hammer. I think it moved, but I'm not sure. It did move in the vise, so I'm tightening up the vise a bit more. Yeah, it's going. Well, that was uh, easier than I uh, expected. And there it is. It looks uh, rather oily. Hardly any grease. Well, not that I see. Um. I think I need to remove the, uh, the drum brake and the uh, cones uh, on the other side of the uh, hub. Well, I tried to flip the wheel, but apparently I can uh, remove this. And this. Uh, here's that piece that uh, uh, where the uh, little chain that does the uh, shifting screws in and I think this is uh, the clutch and I actually might have uh, installed this uh, incorrectly uh, on my uncle's old gazelle bicycle because when I install this thing upside down, it might not be able to catch the um, uh, little axles from the uh, planetary gears. And that way it uh, will never go in third gear. And, well, it might not go in third gear. And that is the problem with my uh, uncle's old uh, gazelle bicycle at the moment. That or uh, some of the uh, poles are no longer working. Because when I had that hop apart, it was uh, very dirty on the inside. Like someone put uh, sawdust inside to make it uh, quieter. I still cannot take off the wheel. But I might be able to take off the uh, uh, planetary gear assembly. Here it is. And that's one of the poles that fell on the floor. The little spring is still here, so that's good. And now, can I take off the wheel? Not yet. Because, well, I can't see the uh, drum brake mechanism. Man, this vise is too high, I cannot see inside here. I think the wheel is caught behind the uh, sun gear. Huh. 
I think now it's time to uh, start watching YouTube videos and stop making my own. So here's a look inside and as you can see the wheel gets caught behind the uh, sun gear which I believe is fixed to the axle. Um, yeah, I will uh, put the wheel back in the, into the vise upside down remove the uh, drum brake and then I should be uh, able to disassemble the rest. I still haven't watched any uh, YouTube videos, although I have watched some in the past. I especially like the ones from, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, American, I think Dan Burkhardt. He has lots of videos about uh, internal gear hubs. So I flipped the hub inside the vise and here you can see the drum brake that is already loose. I guess now I will uh, remove all of this. A lubrication so it uh, will spin a little bit easier. And 15 millimeter. It's tight. All right, time to go in fast forward. Oh. Weird looking washer. And now the drum brake mechanism. Whoa. It's kind of dirty. But there's still plenty of uh, brake shoe material left. Looks like somebody's hair got caught inside here. Odd. And next I can take out the cone. If uh, possible, I will uh, use the uh, brake mechanism from my uncle's old gazelle bicycle. It uh, matches the color of the frame. And this one is uh, rather rusty. The inside of the drum brake is particularly nasty. And, well, this uh, hub came from the uh, second month of 1980. So I'm not sure, but this might still be uh, containing uh, asbestos. So I better try and be uh, careful. Well, 11 millimeter doesn't fit, and 13 is a bit big. 12 millimeter seems to work, but it probably is some sort of. Uh, Imperial uh, size. Man, I would love it if this world would stop using Imperial shit. Stop being imperialistic and stop using Imperial fasteners. Finally. And now I should be able to lift up the wheel. Now here it is, and this thing is oh so dirty. Well, the uh, ball bearings in here look rather dirty, or the grease is uh, a bit dirty. Probably uh, from the uh, uh, brake shoe material. Um, I think I should be able to uh, pry off this uh, dust cover and then I can remove the uh, cage with the uh, balls. Well, I brought a well-worn uh, screwdriver without any sharp edges. It probably was uh, misused lots of times.
I'm bending it. it. Does cover. You know what? I'll try and rinse off the grease and put in some fresh grease and that'll be good enough. Because uh, if everything works out, this wheel will not be uh, all that long inside my uncle's old gazelle bicycle. Because I'm planning to uh, fix the old uh, wheel or the old uh, three speed hub. So here are all of the uh, parts that came out of that uh, Sturmy Archer hub. Um, now I need to uh, clean everything and then try and uh, reassemble it. But uh, that will be an, uh, a subject for a different video because this one is uh, already long enough. It almost took me uh, two hours to uh, disassemble and it never stopped raining. Well, to be continued I guess.